go. Yeah, let's do it. What up, everybody? We are in beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California, and we are in Koreatown at the K-Town Walls, run by the curator for this neighborhood. He's just bringing art back to the community, and the neighbors love it. Today, we're also linking up with Lady One. As many of you know, she's one of the dopest B-girls that I know. B-boying is so intertwined with the history of graffiti. When there was people developing the style of letters, People started to look at the b-boy and the b-girl and how they would stand in a battle and that's what brought about New York funk and that lean and that movement in the letters. So we're going to do some dope graph for you today. Check it out. Just texting lady one. She's on her way. Getting some stuff for our wall today. Busy, busy, huh? Busy. Working hard? Yeah, decided to paint today. Yeah, yeah. Paint down the street. Yeah, it's gonna be good. East by is a mover and a shaker, man. He gets stuff done for this town. It's kind of a selfish reason for me yeah. that I give people wall space because I learn from watching them. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, that's my say. Like, yeah. That's my reality. Yeah, that's that's my reality. reality. He links up with all the people in the community and says, hey, do you want a mural on your wall? I can get some people in here. Now I'm like, now I just want to give people walls so they can just remember me as the guy that gave them wall space. Nice. You know? Heck yeah. Yo, ever since I've been coming here, like, my art has grown so that's much fun. because of him yeah. and because, like, the opportunity. I'm really excited today because I get to paint with Lady One. But we can go through spots and... Usually we can just like walk around. Yeah. Um, so just bless our time, just help it go smooth. In your name, amen. Amen. Yeah. I bought a respirator. I nice. need to start wearing one. Yeah. Last time I was painting, my chest was hurting really bad. Yeah, I need to wear mine. So we finally find a spot. Uh, this is a spot that East By has painted before and it's really hard to go over this spot because this is a really fresh painting. But man, he's just encouraging us to do so. I give people these, you know, the opportunity to express themselves. I, I enjoy that. Dope, man. Let's do it. Let's Thanks. get down. All right. East by, I appreciate it. Shout out to you, man. And we have no clue what we're painting. We're going to freestyle it. We'll see what happens. Peace. We just want to paint some burners, man. Like we just want to do some dope letters. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do a camera piece. Lady's going to do a lady piece. And hopefully we can make it fresh for y'all. Look at this roller pad. Dude, dollar store roller pads, too legit. I can just imagine their first business meeting. We want to make the crappiest roller ever. Ever in life. <laughs> Yeah, mine's done. Yeah, I'm really digging this technique. Yeah, it saves a lot of time. Um, why I do graffiti is because it, you know, ever since I was a younger girl, it helped me stay out of trouble. Um, it put me on a more positive path. How you doing over there, lady? This neighborhood is so rad. Like, sometimes I paint in neighborhoods that are just, don't really care about street art. Like, they, I don't know, they like that it's there, but there's not a true appreciation. K-Town, on the other hand, we have neighbors coming by and people in the neighborhood that absolutely love it. Like they are super blessed by what we're doing here. It makes me feel good that we could bring in art here and just beautify this neighborhood. The days have been So the sun is setting in beautiful K-Town. This has been an amazing experience. I love this part of LA. Yeah. 
Lady One, not only is she a dope graffiti artist, she is a super fresh B-girl. She's in one of the dopest B-girl crews in the world, Heartbreakers. I break because it's who I am. It's created a identity for me, an outlet, and it's the greatest passion I've ever known. It keeps me going, it helps me wake up every morning and gives me a reason to live. I grew up breakdancing and I, I love breakdancing, but I think graffiti kind of took over for me and I really started to focus on that. And breakdancing has just escalated to new heights and new levels and I cannot even keep up. But I'm, I'm totally addicted to it. I mean, my, my subscriptions on YouTube are all B-boy and B-girl pages. That's like all I watch. So to be able to paint with Lady and then also to see her break is amazing. Lady has style. Like, I think to people that don't understand breakdancing, all they want to see is power moves. Like they want to see the tricks, right? I think that's needed in breakdancing, but um, really to a b-boy and b-girl like we look at style it's like how do they do the power moves how do they transition from one power move to the next are they hitting all the levels so are they top rocking are they going down into um footwork on the ground and then being able to pop up and go back down so a lot goes into style and how they execute things and i think lady can do those things like she's hitting the levels and she's doing them with flair and with style so lady one mad props to you. So if this was my last day breaking, the legacy I would want to leave behind me is the freshness that comes out of Florida and how women can represent just as hard. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, comment below. Again, if you know somebody in your town that we can go out and film and talk to and just interview and see what's going on, uh, let us know below and we'll see what we can do. All right, until next time, peace, God bless you, and have an amazing week. So over all the years that you've been spray painting, uh -huh. how many old total cans of Oh my God, I have no idea. you um, inhaled this solid, just one portion size? Over, okay, so over almost 11 or 12 years that I've been painting, I probably inhaled thousands and thousands of cans and my lungs are probably <laughs> done. So how in the world are you still able to break I don't know, but I recently started wearing a respirator because my lungs hurt when I dance now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs>